But one thing that was interesting is so I read um there's a there is a book called Dogs and Demons, which is um a critique of modern Japan. Hey there, Minasan Konichiwa Asa this. 今回の動画ではあなたの英語のレスニングを鍛えるためのネイティブ同士の会話をお届けしたいと思います。学習のために作られた会話ではなく、僕とアメリカ人の友達のオースンとの本当に生の会話を The Austin and Arthur Show という別のチャンネルでお届けしています。ただ、そのチャンネルでは字幕がなくてちょっとハードルが高いですね。そこで定期的に字幕付きの動画をこちらのチャンネルで支援していますので、お役に立てたらとっても嬉しいです。で、今回の話題は、アメリカ人の僕だって知らなかった英語のスラングです。では、Let's get started! Let's just do cheers, okay? Cheers. Yeah. This episode,、um, I was thinking the other day、uh, because I, I watch a lot of YouTube. Yeah. It's like the primary thing I do、uh, on the train、yeah. when, I'm, when I'm commuting. And、um, I'm going to sound like an old man for saying this,、mm -hmm. but a lot of the YouTube channels that I watch have like really young people.、Mm -hmm. And like when you say young, you mean like 20 years old? I mean like 18 to 25. Yeah. Okay. Right.、Um, and. Specifically, the ones who are like more kind of towards the 18 year old range. Yeah. Like, there was this one guy's channel that I watch because he, he plays a game that I really、mm -hmm. like、mm -hmm. watching people play.、Mm -hmm. And、um, I can't understand what he says <laughs>、yeah. when he's not talking about the game. Yeah. Like, from the context of like when he's playing the game, like I understand it.、Mm -hmm. So, like, I know what he's saying. And he's, he's an American. Yeah. Like he speaks with the same accent that、yeah. I speak. Yeah. Right. But I don't know what he's saying. Yeah. Because of the slang. He's of, because of the slang. It's, it's actually crazy. And so it really got me thinking.、Mm -hmm. And I would love to know、um, if older generations thought the same thing about、of、us. Of course they did, man. But like, I don't know, man. I feel no, like we、totally. didn't change as much words as they、uh, did. Oh, no, no. Well, no, we definitely did, man. There's,、yeah. so, so there's a lot of slang that we use that,、um, that、uh, people in the older generation didn't use. Like, one thing、yeah. that, one thing that、um, is not, I mean, I guess you, to me it's slang. Yeah. But calling something like on point, like, oh, man, your tie is on point, man. <laughs> You know, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of slang that I picked up、yeah. from the military. Yeah.、Um, one, of, one of them is good to go. Good, what? Good to go. Good to go. What does that mean? Good, good to go. Like, all right. Are, I mean, I mean, because you... good to go, like, oh, I'm good to go. Yeah. Right? Like, But it's I'm like, ready to go, right? Hey, man, good to go. Okay. Like, okay. And, and what it means is, like, do you understand what's going on? Like, are you. Oh, are is you, that what that means? You, okay. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I say that all the time.、Um, <laughs> I don't know.、Oh, this is embarrassing.、Um, a lot of the times when I'm teaching. Yeah.、Uh, so to give, you, to give you more context, like、mm -hmm. when you're going through training, there's like a certain. Teacher's certain, training.、Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. This is back in the military. Okay. There's a certain way that like the instructors、um, will talk, to, will like Marine instructors will talk. To、mm -hmm. uh, either recruits or people who have graduated boot camp and are going、yeah. through their military school. And a lot of the time, just to make sure people are paying attention, they'll、mm. start off a statement like, hello, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Right. But it, they're using hello not as an introduction. Yeah. It's a, hello, like, okay, pay attention. attention to me. Yeah. It's like, hello, okay, guys, we're going to do this now. Yeah. And so, like, I. Still do that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's it's weird, like you you pick up all these like various terms, um, and then me with my west coast accent, yeah, like yeah, you know, you using, accent, using yeah. like right there, using bro. I was、yeah. thinking about like、That's、all、bro. the different various like、mm -hmm. slangs, I still use bomb,、um, That's bomb, yeah, yeah. 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 So, like, I don't, I don't know. What, is there any slang that you like? You really notice that you use in your well, daily life? Well, yeah. So, like, so not necessarily what I use in my daily life, but there are some slang words I use growing up.、Mm. You know, like keep that on the DL. Yeah. And so, what's that mean? Keep it on the down low means like don't keep it a secret. Don't talk about it、yeah. too much. So, if、right? you're planning a party for someone, you'd say 
hey, we're going to be planning a party for so and so, but we want it to be a surprise, so keep it on the down low. Yeah. Keep it on the DL. Yeah. You know? And、um, another one is, of course, dis, which in Japanese you say disuru. Yeah. You know? Well, don't diss me. So there's, there's one. There, the, man, I, I hate sounding so old. Talking about this. Wait, there's, there's you, one, gotta, you have to embrace your age. No, man. man I, wanna, I wanna think of myself as young still. Why? <laughs> dude, I don't dude, know. You, you are exactly <laughs> in the stage of life you should be in now. Yeah, e m b r a c e it. But、uh, there's, there's, one, there's one bit of slang that I've, that I've picked up that's、mm-hmm. like the, the Zoomer lingo,、mm-hmm. which for those、oh, of that, you. I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna fix the camera. I just realized. Whoop. I know, the camera's fine. It's just.、Um, it just Want it to be more equal. That's yeah, all. Fair enough. Yeah.、Um, so, like, for those of you who know, like, when it, we're talking about generations, like, I'm 34,、mm-hmm. you're. How old are you? I'm 30. What? How old? No, I'm just kidding. I'm 32. 32.、Yeah. Right? So, both of us are part of this generation called millennials. Yeah. It means people are basically born, like, the, the latter half、yeah. of the 1980s until 2000. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's basically 90s kids. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we should kind of like, kind of, because each, you know, each generation has its slang. I、yeah. feel like that's where you draw the line between、yeah. the different. Of course, near the, near the change of,、um, near the shift in,、um, in generations, you have more、uh, slang changes. Yeah. But basically, so just to catch people up, because in Japan, you have like Showa, Heisei, and Neiwa, whatever. Yeah. But in,、um, so in the States, I think you could really talk about the people born in the 1930s. Who basically served in World War II, basically came of age during World War II. That's、yep. the silent generation. Silent generation, yeah. They、yep. went through the Depression. Yep. The people after that, from the 1950s to the late 1960s, was the bo- baby boomers, call them boomers. Well, before that, we have、uh, the, was it the golden generation or the. No, no, I, th- I think that's. The people, who, the people who grew up during World War II are known as like. Is either a golden generation or the greatest generation? Greatest generation. I think that's、greatest、what it is. Because、yeah. the idea is like they grew up in poverty, they、yeah. went through the turmoils of World War II, and they kind of like put the pieces of their countries、uh, back so together. May,、oh, so maybe the silent generation was before that.、Then. The silent was, generation was World War I. World War I. Okay.、Yeah. Silent generation、yeah. was World War I. Greatest generation was World War II. Yeah. Baby boomers were 1950s and 60s. Yep. Then、um, late 1960s. To like 70s to like 80s was、um, Generation X, Gen X. X. Yeah. And then you have us, which is millennials, which is up until like 2000 or whatever. Yep. Then、and、you have Gen Z. Gen Z. And then you have Zoomers. No, no, Gen, no, Gen, no, Zoomers are is a pejorative term for Generation Z. Oh, is it? Boomers. They're、oh. like boomers, but、oh, they're Generation make, Z. That makes sense. So then you have like this new genera- Generation Alpha. Is that I, what they're called? I don't know. I think、oh. so. I always thought、um, Zoomers were like the generation after Gen Z. No, 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 it makes you, sense.、Though. You know how nowadays people say, okay, boomer? Yeah.、Uh, we have to describe what that means, actually. Okay, okay so, boomer. All right. So, boomer, boomer was part of the, like, it is a term used for the boomer generation, right? Yeah, baby, boom, baby boomers. boomers, right? Yeah. But the meaning of it has changed. So, now it, it, it's changed actually. A couple times in the、yeah. past couple years because it then changed to refer to like an old, usually an old man.、Mm-hmm. Um, but it can, it can be referred to as a, like an old person、mm-hmm. and it's, it's a negative connotation. Yeah. Right. Cause you're just like, okay, you're old and out of touch. Yeah. You're out of touch. You don't understand what's going on. Yeah. Um, but now it's, it's once again changed to be a little bit more specific in that it, it directly is referred to old rich men. Old rich man. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because、so, I always thought it was just like an older baby boomer who's out of touch with reality. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because, like, back then, you know, it was very but, easy to get a job. But, like, the baby boomers、house. now, I mean, my parents are baby boomers and they're like fossils. Sorry, guys. Yeah. They're, they like, are they're, fossils. They're, they're like really old now. Well, yeah, because they're like in their 60s and 70s. 70s. Yeah. <laughs> the, the thing is, is that, so, so, like, just to give people context about why calling someone a boomer is a, is a pejorative, is a、yeah. bad thing, because, You know, back when our parents were coming of age, it was very、yeah. easy to get a house, very、yeah. easy to get a job,、mm. to live comfortably on one income.、Yeah. And then, although if you actually talk to our parents, it was a different story in reality, but that's the image that we have.、Yeah. And so then, so then、um, boomers are basically saying, 
hey, you know, the reason you can't buy a house is because you drink too much coffee at Starbucks. You need to stop going oh, to Starbucks. Oh, my God. You you find, you find see these things on the news all the time of, like, these people saying that, like, millennials and Gen Z are just lazy and they don't want to work. And, yeah. like, all these things, like, all these really negative things talking. Man, we were going to talk about, like, slang, but I feel like we're, yeah, well, we're this talking is, well, we're about, talk like, ageism. No, well, we're, talk, <laughs> we're, talking, about, we're talking about the slang term, okay, yeah. boomer. Yeah. Because um, they'll, they'll hear that a lot if they watch America. For stuff. sure. Uh, but, but yeah, so they're, they're, like, America is all about tribalism. Yeah. And, you know, just like we have, we have issues of race, there's also this huge war between generations. generations. And yeah, so like you'll you'll see a lot of stuff talking like really negative stuff about millennials and Gen mm -hmm. Z, and then the 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 kind of response to that is calling people a boomer. Yeah, and like I said, it 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 basically is a is a way to reference a person who's older and um, who doesn't really understand because and out cause, of, yeah because the boomers think hey if you just stop drinking Starbucks every day and you save your money you'll be able to buy a house but they don't understand that. Real housing prices have increased like 10 times compared to yeah. when they were younger, you know? Yeah. And so that doesn't work. And so in that situation, you'd call that, you just say, okay, boomer. It yeah. just means, hey, you're too old. You don't understand. I'm stopping this. Yeah. So, okay, boomer means. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think we've kind of touched yeah. on that one. Yeah. So um, we, um, but you did want to share some. Yeah, man. So I, list of things so because I, I wanted to, yeah. Because we're ahead. getting, because we're getting older now to the point where. There are a lot of slang terms that I hear on YouTube that I don't understand. Like, like you just share with me, people would say that's like stop the cap or cap, cap, yeah, cap. That's like, cap. Like, what does that even mean? So and then, I had to look this up because yeah. I actually didn't know what cap was. Yeah. Um, so cap is a term that people will use uh, as an adjective and it means false or a lie. Yeah. And so that's what cap, they'll say, that's, that's cap. Yeah. Or I mean, you got to stop capping. Yeah. Like that kind of stuff, right? Um, yeah. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off a couple of these. And a lot of these are cultural references. Yeah. So we'll try to explain them. Yeah. Um, so the first one I'm going to start off with is Stan. Stan? Okay. Le okay. You got to help me with that. Can you use it in, an in a sentence? Okay. Stan. Um, Stan's a dude's name. You know, so... I'm gonna I'm gonna talk in terms of a girl. Okay. And okay. Uh I, I went out with my girlfriends last night and uh when I left the bar there was this stan I'm an Is like, it like a creepy walk. dude? Yeah. So it means a stalker or fan. A st you know you, well, one thing that's really interesting, we have yeah. to talk about this is giving so there are like archetypes or stereotypes yeah. of people that they give actual names to, like Karen. Yeah, like Karen is a girl's name. So, but so it, Karen, Karen, I, I, I would say Karen basically means the same thing as boomer, but it's it's for a female term well, because it, it I, yeah, I, I, I will explain why I okay, think that I'll right. Hear it. Okay, and because it it Karen is it refers to an older woman who's out of touch with things. And they they have a sense of entitlement yeah. in the same way you would associate a boomer yeah. being out of touch and having a sense of entitlement. Yeah, that's so there's where that, I'm coming there's from. There's that sense that. of entitlement, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Like you'll so if you look up, you know, funny Karens on YouTube, you'll yeah. get so many Karen videos, and the people's <laughs> names are not Karen. They're just these older, kind of fairly comfortable. Just describe what a Karen looks like. To so me. a Karen is a um a woman, a, like woman who's in her late fifties, early sixties. Who has like hair down to here? Normally, it's blonde. Usually white. Or is, yeah, it's it's colored. What? No, colored. I mean like she's usually white. She's white. She's a white yeah. woman. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and um, for some reason, I um, I just picture her in like these really like cheap clothes that are meant to look good. Like you know how in America, like you get guys <laughs> who who buy a cheap suit and it yeah. just doesn't look like it fits. Like I see that with them. And she has like a Starbucks cup in her hand. <laughs> and she just complains about random stuff. She says, like, for instance, she's the type of person who at Starbucks, she said, I asked for extra caramel and I did not get enough extra caramel. Can you put another extra caramel in here? Because I need extra enough extra. Yeah. You know, and start complaining about things. Yeah. And, and like the, the, like the catchphrase of a Karen is let me see your manager. Oh yeah. Or, yeah, let yeah. Me talk to I want to talk to your manager. Yeah. And like, like a person who, you know, they get an order wrong at McDonald's yeah. and then they just freak out and they're like, why can't you give me my food? You know, 
It's these yeah. people who think that they're better than other people and try to conform other people to how yeah. they are. So if you are in America and an older woman ever comes up to you and tells you that what you're doing is wrong, you have met a Karen. Yep. And so a Stan is a stalker dude. So I, I actually immediately understand the cultural reference to this. And I'm going to yeah. explain it to you. Okay. And I feel like you're going to immediately understand too. Yeah. So Stan comes from the Eminem song, Stan. Have you ever heard that song? What, what can, so, can you do the, like the bridge or something? Yeah. Course? So basically, um, there's an Eminem song called Stan, mm -hmm. and it's it's a song about this guy who is like a, a die fan mm -hmm. uh, to use Japanese terminology. Yeah. And he's obsessed with Eminem, oh, and he yeah, writes yeah, yeah. to Eminem oh, all the time, Stan, and like yeah. he eventually like confesses that he's got like severe mental health yeah. problems, and oh, yeah. that he's secretly like. Uh, a gay man who's in love with Eminem yeah, and he, yeah. you know, he kills his, his girlfriend and yeah. he kills himself. Yeah. Um, because Eminem like basically kind of rejects him yeah. as like, dude, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not gay. Like, yeah. I don't yeah. know what to tell you. Um, and, uh, basically Eminem was writing this because, uh, he wanted to like share with audiences, like this, the, the kind of dark side of being a celebrity yeah. and that kind of like, having to deal with people with really mental yeah. health problems yeah. and like how much of a toll that actually takes on yeah. on artists yeah right right because right. it's like um i think i think there was an interview of eminem basically saying that this is roughly based on a true story mm -hmm. um of a fan writing to yeah. them and like it's something that like still bothers him that this yeah. person killed themselves over yeah, right um but yeah so basically yeah so that's why Stan is that's Stan. Why that's the why the word Stan's word being Stan. used yeah. for you here. So I, I thought okay. that was interesting. Okay. That's good to know. Are you ready for the next one? Next one. Hit All me. right. Bussin. That's bussin? That's bussin. Oh, what, do you, what do you think give, that Give means? me an example sentence, man. Hey, everybody. If you made it this far, we have an awesome opportunity to join the... Austin and Arthur Friends. Because in the Austin and Arthur Friends, you can get the rest of this video with English and Japanese subtitles and all the other videos we don't share on this channel. You can also get access to the PDF script for you to read along with the video. You'll get this long conversation in separate smaller videos so it's easy to study, access to a Kain Gente community, members-only community, and opportunities opportunities to talk directly with us wow wow that's so amazing you should join today yeah have fun bye everybody 今回の動画では生きた英語をたくさん学べたと思いますが実際に話せるようになるにはどうしたらいいのでしょうか大人の方は英語のフレーズ文法をたくさん学ぶのですがいきなり外国人を目の前にして話す機会が来たら頭が真っ白になって言葉が出てこないです僕自身も日本語を4年間勉強したのですが実際に日本に行ったら全く話せな